Good morning, Jean. Good morning. Jean was one of our panelists, uh, our future resident panel event person today. We really wanted to have Jean tell her story because it really is fascinating and we wanted to be able to share it with the rest of you. So for those of you that had listened earlier, um, it was technical difficulty on our end. And uh, so we're gonna make up for it now. So thanks Jean, thanks for being such a good sport. Why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself and where you're currently living? Okay, uh, I'm a widow. I'm retired from the state of New Jersey. I worked in a school system. I currently live in Wyckoff, uh, so it's an easy, uh, it was an easy decision for me. I have four children who live in Wyckoff and 10 grandchildren. So in uh, booking the Vista, everything stays the same except for my living arrangements. Uh, I have the same doctors, the same shopping, my uh, friends and my family are here. So uh, living at the Vista, I will only be giving up all the work of a home. I know I had a woman tell me one time the only thing she did was change her address. Yes. So what, what first attracted you to think about even consider something like the Vista? Was it the features and the amenities or the peace of mind that you made a plan for your future? You know, I, I didn't really plan on uh, moving into a retirement community, probably for another few years. Uh, I have a cousin who signed up for the Vista the very first year and she had been speaking about it i found it very intriguing so i was over in walgreens and stopped into the vista office and came out two hours later with an apartment with yeah. a hold on an apartment um i was so impressed everything just made sense for this next chapter in my life and uh so i booked the vista yeah, I, I happened to be there that day, and I and we always say that Jean was our fastest fastest depositor. She came in just to look and left with an apartment, as she says. So we, yeah. we really encourage people to want to do that. We'll we'll take you anytime. Um, when when you were making your plans for the future, did you tour other communities? And and if so, what put the Vista at the top of your list? Uh, well, I didn't tour other communities, but I was familiar with them. I have friends who live in another community that's nearby. Um, I'm one of those who researches everything. So after I left the Vista office, I came home and I, uh, I researched uh, privately owned as well as um, something like Christian healthcare. Having been familiar with Christian healthcare and its reputation, uh, I knew it was the right decision. Uh, what also appealed to me was the, uh, the size of, of the community. It was much more intimate. I thought that it would be uh, easier to make friends and to participate in the social aspects of the Vista and not have it be such a, a huge place as, as others are. Mm -hmm. And, and for, those of us, for those of you that are listening to this right now, uh, I'll give you just a little uh, 30 second commercial. The Vista is a new continuum of care retirement community that's located in Wyckoff, New Jersey. And as Jean was saying, it's, it's a smaller community. So it's 161 apartment homes currently under construction on the Christian Healthcare Center campus. Um, it's, a very, it's a very exciting time for all of us that are involved as we're looking forward to the opening being the spring of 2021. So there's a, a, there's a lot of buzz going on and we encourage people to pull up to the campus and you can see the construction going on. And, and um, as Jean says, it will be a, it'll be a, a wonderful, intimate community to really be able to meet your new neighbors and friends. Um, did the reputation of the Christian Healthcare Center campus, um, did that play a continuum? Did that play a, a role in your decision? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, having lived in Wyckoff, I'm very familiar with um, the campus. I've had friends uh, who were in the rehabilitation center. Um, so uh, visiting them, the, the care quality, uh, is wonderful. The reputation in town, uh, it, without a doubt, it had a big, uh, big part in my decision. Big impact. What amenities at the Vista are you looking most forward to, uh, to partaking in when you move in, Jean? Well, I'm going to participate in everything, um, particularly uh, the exercise programs, the pool. Um, having been in uh, uh, another uh, 
community of exercise programs, um, I feel more comfortable with people my own age and not, uh, you know, the 30 somethings um, on the treadmill next to you. Uh, the Performing Arts Center, I think, is probably a very large uh, appeal, have, have a large appeal to me. Uh, the thought of having concerts and uh, seminars, uh, that, that has a, a big appeal. Of course, the restaurants, although I like to cook myself, um, having a choice to be able to go down the hall and into the restaurant and have my family there, all without leaving my building, if you will, and going mm -hmm. out into inclement weather, uh, mm -hmm. has a big appeal, big appeal. It is, it definitely is. Um, and, and in the world of, that we're living in now, unfortunately, do you, uh, do you feel safe that you would be choosing the Vista? It's interesting that you say that because as soon as uh, the pandemic hit, one of my sons called and said, mom, do you have any second thoughts about moving into a community, um, you know, where you would be uh, with older, older people who are, are at risk? And I actually spoke to um, Julie um, about it and was assured that um, everything that could possibly be done to safeguard the residents was being done. And one of the other panelists, um, is a civil engineer, and he explained, as did Doug Streit, the, uh, the CEO, how each individual apartment has its own airflow, um, and it, it is probably safer than um, being out in, the, in, a, in another community. So I'm very confident. I feel uh, protected, I, uh, uh, very protected. Yeah. That, that, and safety and happiness are the two things that they are most looking forward, most, mm -hmm. you know, to the VISTA. Um, I guess in, in closing, and I thank you again for, for uh, giving us this time uh, in your busy schedule, but if you had an opportunity, what words of encouragement would you tell people who are watching this web, watching us today and, and thinking about becoming a charter resident for VISTA? I would say do it, don't hesitate. As I said in the beginning, I was thinking probably two or three years from now, but when I went into the office, um, it was such a visual experience and I, I got a concept of what life was going to be. Um, there are um, visual uh, aspects, you can see the, 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 uh, the model, so you can determine where your apartment would be. Um, all of the fine finishes that um, are wonderful um, and particularly the residence counselors, I had Kate and she was just so informative. She answered any question that I had. She even called my financial advisor to uh, answer questions, any questions that we had about the financial aspect of it. So I would say drop in, um, you won't be sorry that you you did, and you have really nothing to lose. You could walk out with an apartment, just yeah. like I did. <laughs> well, thank you again, Jean. We so appreciate your time, and we're sorry for our technical difficulties for That's those okay. that are watching. But yep. again, as Jean says, we are located right next to the Walgreens at the Cedar Hill Plaza, 525 Cedar Hill Avenue. And who knows, you two could walk out with an apartment. Thank you, Jean. <laughs> You're very welcome. Thank you. Bye-bye.